Mystery Secret Searchers, Episode 17, Cold Winter. Hold fast at the river, cold of night, Scots shiver. Strong of heart and soul, we survive with wood and coal. Honored men and women of Glengarry, laid to rest no cemetery. Rock and stone builds their tomb. Hold fast, my clouds, all too soon. This is journal entry 13 in John McLeod's Chronicles of Curiosity. There were no rhymes for entry 11, the card of the McLeods, and 12, landing, but we learned that the ship McDonald did land somewhere near the Raisin River, close to what now is known as Lancaster Wharf. The ship McDonald was carrying Scottish settlers that came here in 1786, including the McLeods, and Reverend Alexander MacDonald. Did Reverend Alexander MacDonald also bring over that mystical heirloom, the family clan MacLeod sword from Dunvegan in Scotland? The MacLeod family heirlooms, the fairy flag, the Dunvegan cup, the horn of Sir Rory Moore, and the clan MacLeod sword? That seems to have brought nothing but misfortune to people who have had it in their possession. Well, rock and stone, we've checked out these cairns in Glengarry. We have been looking at the McLeods of Glengarry, but we also know there are the McLeods of Barkerville, British Columbia. We still haven't identified John McLeod. Is he in there? We're not sure yet. There he is in a picture from Glengarry. He was, came over on the ship McDonald. Reverend Alexander McDonald, did he bring the sword with him to Glengarry? We don't know. We're still searching. Here are the land plots in Loch Eel. This is where we found the Carn of the McClouds. The Carn of the McClouds in Loch Eel, this is in North Glengarry, gave us a clue that maybe there was a land plot granted to John McLeod. We searched the maps, and you know, we were so lucky. On this map, we found the land plot, the 200 acres given to the McLeods in North Glengarry. This was all part of Upper Canada. At the McLeod Museum, with all these artifacts that we found, we were the most impressed by finding the pin, the pin with the sword through it, the sword with the triestra symbol on it, the whole class of the MacLeod, the juniper sprig beside it. We're now starting to see an association with juniper, another clan MacLeod symbol. This was getting very close to maybe finding out some more information. Well, those mystical items that live in the castle in Scotland are looking for their brother. They're looking for their Clan MacLeod sword to go with him. What has happened to it? Well, we were fortunate enough to visit the uh, Glengarry Pioneer Museum, and that's where we found all, of, all about the MacLeod family settlement there. We figured that somewhere in Glengarry there must be the original house of the McClouds, and we set out to find it. And we had very good luck. We did find it. We found it in Lock Hill, in near Dalkeith, in North Glengarry. The house was on a modern day farm, but the old house stood near the front of the entranceway in there. Now, we were not allowed to go up to the house. It's on private property. No one wanted us to go near it, so we stood on the edge of the road to film. But this is the land that the McLeods got in Lock Hill, North Glengarry. This is where they did some farming. This is where John McLeod and his family lived. This was exciting news. We thought that maybe somewhere on the property 
we might find some more clues. We're going to have to ask permission to go back there and search on the property. But we're very excited about it. We were also very lucky to attend the Pioneer Village Museum's 1812 Day, where we saw examples of how people lived back in the 1800s. I've put together a little slideshow for you. Enjoy.